Welcome, my Phoenix family, to One Footed Phoenix. There are times that I do struggle with being disabled, and those are the days where being an amputee kind of just stinks. I realize that I can't continue to keep up with all of the two-leggers, especially all of the two-leggers that are my age. <laughs> I do have a frustrating longing to be a normal, whatever that means, young adult. Which, I mean, when I say normal, I really just mean like being able to actively do what young people do. Which is, you know, like, go to school, go on dates, do what young people are supposed to be doing. But the matter of the fact is, my body just can't handle a lot of those things. Of course I want to be able to wear my prosthetic for longer, and of course I want that to not be a painful experience when I do decide to wear my prosthetic for longer. And unfortunately, the more that I push myself, the harder and longer that crash is going to be when I do overdo it. And it's a hard lesson to learn that the more you try to push yourself to do things that your body just is not designed to do with a disability, the more you're going to end up dealing with chronic pain. Am I the queen of wanting to overdo it for the sake of being able to socialize? Absolutely. And I will even give you an example of the fact that I am the queen of overdoing myself in the name of trying to be social because Guys, at the end of the day, I'm still an extrovert, and I like my people, and I kind of go crazy when I don't have my people. So last week, I went to a scripture study group with a bunch of people around my same age, which is fine and dandy. But <laughs> the problem kind of came where I decided to leave my leg on for probably way too long, and then I ended up uh, with a dancing class, and I actually really quite enjoyed this dancing class. But I think that I definitely tried to push my limits like way too hard, way too quickly, and realized that there's still a lot like my prosthetic even keeps me from being able to do when it comes to being active. And, you know, there yeah, I could do some dance moves, but my knee gets restricted in my prosthetic, for example, and it's difficult to bend my knee, like, farther than I can uh, outside of the prosthetic, and that's because of the bracers that are on the side of my prosthetic. Um, and if you do want to see what my prosthetic actually looks like, I'll try and link some videos down in the description down below so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But I have this, like, fear that if I go to things with people my own age, with my wheelchair, that people aren't going to see me for me, but that instead they're going to see like the wheelchair first. And that's why I made a very big effort to not have my first impression at these church activities be me in my wheelchair. And it's because I have had experiences where I've had problems with people that just see the wheelchair first and it's really really frustrating because sometimes like the only people that will talk to me is people that are disabled themselves and while that's not a bad thing when it comes to trying to actually find someone to date i don't want to date someone that is not capable and the reason for that is that I am still at a place in my life where I do need someone to be somewhat of a caregiver to me and that is why I can't really date someone that can't take care of themselves because like I can't take care of myself all the time and yeah that that was just kind of the experience that I was having in this sort of church group like before and it's why I ended up with the family unit for so long and I don't like it. I feel uncomfortable with it. Is that my own bias? Probably, because I've had a bad experience with it. It's also like other people's biases as well, of like, people just see you 
differently when you're on wheels. And I wish it wasn't that way, but it is. I think that happens a lot, like when I'm out in public and, you know, people see me in my wheelchair, they like assume that I like can't do anything or they just like assume that I don't have a prosthetic and like, it gets really annoying and it gets old really quickly. <laughs> And maybe I'm just having one of those days where I'm like really sick and tired of having to advocate for myself like all the time with like literally everyone. <laughs> it shouldn't make me so uncomfortable that I have to use my wheelchair in a public setting with my peers, but it just does. And I don't like how icky that feels. Like just mentally wanting to do things and not being able to do them because I deal with so much phantom pain. I am on painkillers like a lot of the time and it gives me brain fog and it impairs my ability to drive so yeah there are days where i'm like i just really wish i could get in the car and drive myself today but i can't and all of that is part of the grief process of having a disability but sometimes you know like you think that you're over these little grief demons and then they just like pop up out of nowhere being like hi hello i'm gonna make your life miserable today and you're like oh okay really like can, can you not do that like like i thought i was over this i thought i worked on this like i thought i blah, with you stupid grief demon and then you pop up and get in my face again grief is like that i mean like you probably are going to face your grief demons multiple times before you feel like you really can move past it. Alrighty, so if you guys learned something cool about this video or if you would like to add to the discussion, I encourage you to comment down in the comments down below and also to like this video because it helps it get out to more people, so thank you. If you would like to see another One Footed Phoenix video, click over here and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.